Yo, what's good? It's your boy Dixon from Twitter Design. Today's video, I'm gonna show you a step by step of how I create this design. It actually went viral on my TikTok and got me like 300,000 views, which is crazy. I'll also spill some techniques here and there so that you can apply them to your work too. Let's go. Like always, I got free assets for you guys. It's a cyber elements pack that I made myself. They can be used commercially for your shirt designs or projects. Just put zero in the price box and then check out. Show some support by liking this video guys and then subscribe so that I can keep doing this. Starting off, I'm gonna copy and paste this butterfly stock photo into the working file. Um, I was very lucky because when I found that stock photo, it was already cropped from the background, you know, so that saves me a lot of time. And then I went ahead and got two more stock photos for the bullet. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this idea came to me when I was taking a shit like a month ago and I legit thought it was 100% original. But then when my TikTok video of this design went viral and I've seen comments saying there's actually a song with the same title by Smashing Pumpkins that came out like 10 years ago and then here I thought I was being so original. Anyway, as you can see here, I am using the grids as guidelines because the bullet is 100% straight. And then I'm going to use the warp selection tool to fix the shape of the bullet. But I actually went with another bullet photo in the final design because I feel like this one is a bit blown out color wise. And I needed something with a bit more glue. So here's me using the pen tool to select the bullet from this other bullet stock photo. You know, it's a pretty standard step, but yeah, I also used the curves tool on it to play with the contrast a bit before I move it into the working file. Now using the marquee tool, I'm gonna cut the butterfly in half and then put them in separate layers cause I'll be rotating each of these wings individually so that I could give it some more width. Also, I wouldn't suggest you guys to just mirror any design elements for the sake of symmetry cause you know, it just seems like a lazy move. So don't do that. But yeah, now I'm rotating the left wing to nine degree and then the other wing to negative nine degree cause it's the opposite direction. Again, I'm using the grids as guidelines to make it look symmetrical, even though it is a 100%. But you know, you can get away with it sometimes as long as it appears like it's perfectly symmetrical. Now on a new layer, I'm brushing the shadow of the bullet on the right side because the highlight is on the left. So that's the composition that I'm working with. Um, also composition is important when it comes to photo manipulation. It's how you can make it look realistic, you know, by matching the contrast of these elements together. So adding a shadow below the bullet makes it look like, you know, it's part of the wings. And you know, so it's not just like it's slap on there. After that's done, now I'm using the selective color tool to find the right color tone for it. Um, I actually failed here because I don't like the dark spots on the wings. I feel like they blend too well with the black background and it wouldn't look good on a black shirt especially. So yeah, you gotta keep these things in mind when you're designing shirts. It cannot just be about design. You have to think about how it looks when it's printed, etc. I've learned this method a long time ago, so here's how I found the solution to that. You create a copy layer of the element that you work with, which in this case, the butterfly, and then you command I to invert the colors of the copy layer, and then you set the blending mode to difference or luminosity. 
you know it's either these two or the ones between them you see these blending modes shift color in a very drastic way sometimes it even changes it completely but sometimes they work too when you're having a tough time finding the right color tone for your design so you know give this one a try guys After that, I just option command E to merge them into one layer and then again using the selective color tool to finalize it. Um, here's another tip for you guys when you set the colors of your design or when you use selective color tool. Um, I would always suggest that you add some blue or red tones to the white color channel because it kind of sets the vibe of the design. Um, just like what I did in my Kanye West Donda merge designs. If you've seen that video, you would know. Final step is of course adding the brand name and just like always I went with Eden Made, which is also my fake brand. Um, I actually struggled here a lot because you know I came into this design without any plans on the aesthetic like whether if I should keep it minimal and luxury or loud with bold fonts so I couldn't make up my mind and tested out a bunch of fonts as you can see here but ultimately I went with Bajern which is a black letter font but with some modern touches so it doesn't look too gothic and you know kind of fits the design really well So the idea for now is I'm going to blend the fonts with the design in a way that they look like they are entwined. I really like this step because the result changes a lot depending on the letters that you use. So I'm applying a mask layer to the design folder and then command click on the font layer to bring up the selection and basically just brush out the details. Now since the goal is to make them intertwine, I'm going to skip some parts of these letters. Again here I struggle some more on the colors of the font but I give it a rest and then came back again after like half an hour and then finished the design and here's the final result. That's it for today guys, hope you learned something new from this video. I am planning on making a design challenge series, so comment below if you have any suggestions on what kind of design should I do next. As always, subscribe now if you're new and like the free stuff that I give out every single week. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content. Stay safe, catch you on the next one.